everybody sing do da do da do in our classes, the relationship between music and early childhood development is evident. We have babies in our classes. We have toddlers in our classes. When I'm spinning round, I'm as happy as a kid can be. He's inspiring the next generation of tiny little rockers, and it seems he's having quite a bit of fun in the process. He's Michael Napolitano, founder and director of Preschool of Rock. Welcome to the program. Thank you for having me. So glad to have you. Love this concept. Love the idea. Where did it come from? Um, it came from having children. Yes. Right. So I, I was a rock and roll musician. Kind of longer hair. Looked a little different pre-children. You know, pre-kids, PK. And uh, <laughs> and then uh, you know, I took my daughter to some music classes, and we really enjoyed it. But I, for me, it was a little softer and more gentle uh, and less interactive than I wanted my child to experience and I kind of had all the instruments at home so we started doing stuff at home I started writing songs next thing you knew uh, I guess I was good at it because people wanted to come I started throwing a class people wanted to come next thing you knew more people wanted to come I got another teacher and then another teacher and and I have this uh, kind of catalog of wonderful musicians that work with us now and uh, you're you now go. in 11 locations throughout New Jersey and New York yep I would say more than that but uh, but we can st say 11 maybe no say what I, mean, it is. I don't know I think it's in the 20s now look at that yeah. so about 20 and this is a whole new concept because and I, I don't want to disparage anyone else because there are a lot of terrific music programs yes so what makes this one a little bit edgier a little bit more fun a little right. bit different uh, our teacher doesn't sit down. That's is that one you? thing. Yeah, yeah, that's me. <laughs> and there's other people, so they kind of have to emulate my spirit, which has always been very energetic. And since I was a young one, uh, I was kind of the first preschool of rocker. My dad was a drummer in bands, so I was at rehearsals. So you're but, indoctrinated uh, into this, really? Yes, yeah. It's like my father invented the class. He right. doesn't even know it. And uh, so thanks, Dad. And um, you know, what, we don't sit down. It's a whole rock and roll experience. It's like a show. And the kids are part of the show. They get their own instruments, and they get to explore our instruments each week. What is it about the physicality of it that you think engages the kids? Um, you know, if someone's jumping, they're going to jump. Mm -hmm. If someone's dancing, they're going to dance. If they're not, it, if the teacher's sitting down and just strumming the guitar, or a lot of music classes play playback, it doesn't really engage them. They need, especially in our world, you know, our children are affected by the the constant uh, images and TV. So um, having a live performance in front of you that you feel like you're involved with really, really affects them greatly. You think they experience the music differently that way? Yes, I do. Yes. I, I think I think when someone is actually playing in front of them and whacking on a drum and they get to come up and whack on the drum, they feel an ownership over the, over the class, over the music itself, yeah. Can we talk a little bit about your history with sure, the Blue yeah. Man Group? Yeah. Um, Blue Man was a, is a huge influence on me still. Uh, it was a wonderful experience for me. Um, Talk I had, about your role in it. Yeah, I had the opportunity to work with the founders of the company and a small group and uh, of other people, very talented creatives, that developed new content. And whatever the mad geniuses wanted to bring out there, we had to make it happen. And that involved so much production, creative production, and kind of figuring stuff out, and tons of interesting instruments. You know, I used to tune the tubes and, and uh, create instruments with these te amazing technical uh, developers. So uh, that has transferred into Preschool of Rock because wow. we use a lot of drums. Yes. It's all about drumming. So in my classes, our classes, it's all about drumming. Every week we have some type of drumming activity because uh, I really do feel like that's the gateway to the soul, to, to music. For toddlers, it's, it's hard to make chords on a guitar, but you can whack on a drum at, you know, s six months. You can eat. You know, Absolutely. 12 they know months how to a hit. little louder. <laughs> yeah. You know, 18 months, yes. two hands, you yes. know. So. You say that there's a, a strong connection between literacy and music. What is that? Yes. What have you experienced with your own children? I mean, there's a tons of research out there, but in the most simple sense, if you're listening to music with lyrics and the children aren't really, they're not reading yet, and they're, they're you know, barely speaking, a lot of them. I had a child today in my class, little Mikey. He's like, I don't know, 18 months. And he's like, we have a part in the song. You put up your hands and you say, hello, man. And he goes, 
Hello, man. I've never heard the child talk before. <laughs> right. So there's your early literacy. They sing along to the songs. Um, I have the same thing in my house. My son is 18 months old, yeah? and he he barely says any words. But if you sing a song to him, he'll sing the words back to you. There you go. So absolutely, that's, that's saying, the proof is right there. It, somehow it processes in their brain differently, and I don't know how that happens, but Me it's pretty too. special. It's pretty, pretty incredible. You know, music is that thing. It's it, it's not tangible, but everyone enjoys it. It brings everyone together. Can we talk about Michael and the Rock Nest Monsters? Yes. You're still a rock star, but for kids. That band, for families. For families. Let me tell you, this band is so good. These guys I'm playing with are so, so talented. Um, I don't even play the guitar a lot of the time. I just put it down and run around like a, like a, you know, great rock star. You have a lot of energy, don't you? I do. (laughs) I'm getting that vibe. I do. Um, What are we doing after this? Yeah, right. (laughs) We're we're playing. We're going to jam out. That's right. That's right. Michael and the Rock Nest Monsters is great. Uh, We we just had a show at Symphony Space in Manhattan, sold that out we'll be at the woodland in uh, maplewood coming up and uh and we get around we get around we play some good shows why did you start this band um you know our children age out you know so after four unless we're in preschools we really don't see the children so then this gives us an opportunity to see those children again and my children are seven and nine now not to date myself but you know, I want them something for them to enjoy. Yes. And Michael and the Rock Nest is, is pretty hip. It's pretty cool. Wow, that was my question. Do they still think you're cool? They do. At seven they and sing nine, on you the still records. have it. They sing on the records. They help me write songs. They're fantastic. That's awesome. Yeah. So they're little rock stars in the making, little budding stars. Amelia and Sienna are perfect little rock stars. I love it. I love it. Um, where Tell us where people can learn more information about your program. Preschool sure. of Rock, Michael and the Rock Nest Monsters, yeah. where do we go? Preschoolofrock.com. You could find a slew of information on there. Also, Facebook, other people's photos, and and you can see what parents think of the program, not just what we think of it. We think we're great. Of course, we think you're great too. <laughs> uh, you are going to schools, right? This is not just in the preschool of rock locations. Right. You're also going out into schools. We're an enrichment program. We go to the school. We see about right now. I'd say we see between 2,000 and 2,500 children a week, and we're in Manhattan and much in New Jersey. And we go into the school and we offer a uh, enrichment music program that is STEM based: science, technology, engineering, and math. Sure. Kind of tying in a little bit of education, a lot of it, with the music, but we don't let them know it. Yes, it's they like, don't know so they're learning. It it's like the vegetables in the sauce. Yes. You mix it in that you don't know you're getting That's it. That's right. Um, and do, also you can do birthday parties. We do People birthday can get you for birthday parties. parties. That's right. We yes. do birthdays for Preschool of Rock. We do enrichment programs at schools for Preschool of Rock and our parent and me classes. I love it. Michael yeah. Napolitano, founder and director of Preschool of Rock. Thank you so much. Thank you. So much fun. We're going to jam now? Yeah, let's do it. Awesome. <laughs> I love it. To continue the conversation, follow me on Twitter at Joanna Gaggis, on Facebook at joannagaggis.lifeandliving, and on Instagram at lifeandliving underscore Joanna Gaggis. To see more Life and Living programs, visit us online at lifeandliving.org.